So here's the ballad. I present to you the ballad of Clark Kent. And this is how it goes. Okay. When Lois Lane met Superman, he was fighting crime. Could Ben steal in his bare hands? Stop locomotives, leap over tall buildings in a single bound. Shit. Superman could fly. Then one day he met Lois and swept her, swept her off her feet, rocked her world in the sack and fell in love with her because that's what supermen do. After a year of this whirlwind, Lois starts to feel her relationship with Superman was lacking something. Why does he have to always be out there fighting crime, huh? Why does he always have to prove he's so macho? Does it threaten his ego? He really needs to get in touch with his feminine side. What about my needs? And why can't he just grow up and get a real job? I'm not getting any younger, you know. He's got some responsibilities to live up to. When am I going to see a ring? So eventually, this wears down on Superman, and he submits to Lois's request or demands. After all, she should really grow. Uh, he should really grow up, anyways, right? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. So Superman changes his name to Clark Kent. Superman was so male, self-aggrandizing, anyways. And he lands a job as a reporter at a great metropolitan newspaper. Clark begins wearing glasses. Even though he can see x-rays and shoot lasers out of his eyes, he wears them because Lois says it makes him look distinguished, intellectual, and she likes them. Time goes on and Lois and Clark, <laughs> five year, or, time goes on and uh, Lois and Clark marry. Five years into the, into the marriage, Lois gets bored. Same old, same old. Clark is so mundane and unassuming. She longs for the days when he could fly or he would fly and do that funny steel bending trick he used to do when they were dating. He hasn't done it for uh, hasn't done any of that for so long, not because he can't, but because he's afraid she'll get upset with him and not put out that evening if he gets cocky with her. In fact, she's not putting out even half as much as she used to in those uh, in these days. Clark just doesn't arouse her as much as uh, as he once uh, she want he once did. And she just can't seem to put her finger on the reason for it. Then one night, Lois ran into a wealthy fellow by the name of Bruce Wayne at a charity mixer. Bruce was dark, mysterious, and in shape. He couldn't fly, but he made up for that in so many other ways. He fought crime. He wore a mask and spoke in short, purposeful sentences, never mincing words. He didn't wear glasses. That was so retro. And he came and went at the time of his pleasing, not hers. He sent tingles down Lois's spine and other places she hadn't felt tingles in a while when he began to see her and date her. The weeks went by until after a 60-hour work week at the Daily Planet, swanky apartments don't rent cheap, you know. Clark made his way home on the subway since flying had been out of the question for a while now and picked up a dozen roses to surprise Lois, though he tended to put up uh, he thought she tended to put out more when he showed his feminine side. So when she got when he got back to the apartment now, however, it was poor Clark who got the surprise upon discovering Bruce Wayne bending Lois over the kitchen table when he opened the door. Bruce promptly toweled off his junk while Clark slack jawed with horror watched speechless. How could you? After all we meant to each other, Clark began to cry as Bruce ex uh, excused himself from the now estranged couple. Clark was used to crying a lot now because it showed his sensitivity. What could have possibly seen? What could you have possibly seen in that guy? Clark shrieked like a schoolgirl. Well, I couldn't help myself, Lois said indifferently. Batman is a superhero. And that's the ballad of Clark Kent, which is actually kind of pertinent to today's topic. See, what happens for a lot of times is guys will say, well, I lost the frame, Rolo. How do I get the frame back? Or uh, we used to have such hot sex when we were single. Or I was so much more alpha, whether they were or they weren't. The impression is that they were. And what happens is that over time, the guy that she fell in love with, the guy who caused, like we were saying before, the guy who caused sexual anxiety, urgency, um, the guy that she wanted to bang, that guy turns into what he thinks she expects of him. You need to do the dishes. You need to be more feminine. You need to express yourself. You need to cry. It's okay for guys to cry. You know, how emotionally invested do you think the guy who got cheated on in that video was with that chick? 
thinking that that's the rules. That's the rules that we're going to play by. But the, those rules don't exist. And that, again, the Ballad of Clark Kent, I hate to use allegory and metaphor on, on any internet media because people always take it stupidly literally. But what that means is this, is that you be, you are Superman in the beginning and you gradually turn into Clark Kent until another superhero comes along. You're never going to watch uh, Invincible the same way <laughs> after what you're never going to watch Justice League um, after after that story in the same way. But, um, you know, that's the that's the, the perfect is boring. That's the analogy for perfect is boring. You can be Superman and women will still say, is he the best I can do? Because you turn yourself, you, she doesn't turn, well, maybe she does, it inspires it, but you turn yourself, you gaslight yourself into Clark Kent. You need to understand, I'm going to give you some actionable advice at the end of here, It's which is you need to remember women's nature and men's nature. And the real, and when you hear bullshit like that, the, the counselor here at the end here on the roommates, when you hear bullshit like that, you need to be able, your red pill lens needs to be finely attuned to read that and understand that that's bullshit when it, when it's presented to you. So there you go. Thank you for bringing that up, by the way, I haven't done story time in quite some time.